That's the whole idea of a healthy lifestyle. It's letting go of, it's also very expensive to overhaul your makeup, especially when you're going clean. So you're going to have weeks that are really busy or you're gonna have weeks where you get sick. Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're just gonna hang out today. It is Sunday, we're gonna do some makeup, we're gonna make a healthy recipe, we're gonna talk about some healthy habits. So if that's something that you guys like to see, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump right into today's video. Hello beautiful, thank you so much for being here. If this is your first video with me, what's up? My name is Charlene Town and I talk all things healthy lifestyle and sustainable weight loss. So if those are things that you're interested in, then you're in the right place. And I wanna know what your number one goal is for 2025, cause I wanna make videos that support you, okay? So, so as you guys know, I lost 45 pounds almost six years ago and I've been able to maintain that weight loss through creating healthy habits that have created a healthy lifestyle with little things that I've been able to do consistently day after day that have really calmed compounded over time. And part of this pursuit of living a happy, healthy lifestyle, like a sustainable, healthy lifestyle, has been to just stay curious about what's going on with my body and learning and growing and trying new things. So a couple years ago, I started living a fasting lifestyle and I kept hearing Dr. Mindy Pels, who does Fast Like a Girl. If you guys are interested in fasting, she is phenomenal. It's not really good for my body right now because I have really high cortisol levels and it just makes it worse unfortunately. But something that I really took away from that experience of fasting and learning a lot of information from Dr. Mindy Pels was that our body carries a toxin load. We are bombarded by different toxins through the clothes that we wear, through the chemicals that we use to clean our house, through our laundry detergent, perfume, candles, air diffusers and stuff. So a couple years ago I went through my house and I got rid of all of the fragrance in my house. I used to be a Bath and Body Works candles and plug-in kind of a girl. I used to be perfume all the time. And a couple years ago, I took that out of my life in hopes to reduce my toxin load. I've also completely overhauled my cleaning supplies and my laundry detergents. And if you guys are interested in what I'm using, let me know in the comments down below because I have found a new brand that was actually recommended to me by you guys and I've been trying it and loving it. Oh my gosh, you guys, so good. And the last, well, it's probably not the last part of the puzzle piece. I'm gonna learn more and more and more and I will continue to grow and try new things but a big part of the puzzle piece that I had not done yet was my makeup because I am a professional makeup artist. I was a MAC makeup girly for a long time. I am MAC makeup certified and trained and their pigmentation's great. It's performance based. You know what I mean? Like I've been using that in my makeup kit for almost 20 years. Like I know how makeup should perform and I know how I want my makeup to perform and so it's hard for me to try new products and new brands but after a video I posted a couple weeks ago, I asked for you guys' recommendations. I will leave that video above and in the description box down below for you. But you guys recommended overwhelming amount of Ilia and Merit. And so as you can see behind me, I bought some new products. And so in just a minute, we're gonna cut back to me getting ready and I'm gonna show you guys me applying the makeup and my thoughts on the makeup from when I first got it to how I'm feeling about it and how I'm applying it now, what works, what doesn't work, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. It. So if you guys are interested in that, we're gonna talk about some clean makeup brands and what I'm loving about it. And without further ado, let's do some makeup. All right, you guys, so like I said, we're gonna do some makeup together. I wanted to show you guys the makeup products that I got from Sephora. I have been playing with all of this stuff for a couple weeks now, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I've been using. I wanna apply some of it together, and I got all of this stuff because you guys recommended it. So let's do some makeup, and then we will jump into making a really healthy recipe for the holidays, okay? So let's go. I just washed my face. I hydrated it with a toner, and I put my moisturizer on, and that's how I prep my skin for foundation always. First things first, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from my little Sephora bag. It's a very expensive little Sephora bag as it usually is. So I got two foundations. I got the Ilia Rewind Complexion Stick Foundation and I got the Merit Minimalist. Now I went for this guy. I was very excited to see that Sephora had this guy in stock. I got the Ilia True Skin Concealer. I was really excited about this. This is the Merit Bronze Balm. And then they had the blush that I really wanted to try by Merit. I've been looking for a new blush and this is 
is the one in Beverly Hills. Just as like a little review, I feel like for the money that you're paying for Merit, the components are really, really light. They feel really cheap and the products themselves. The pigment is there, but I feel like it doesn't stay on your skin. It's definitely more of a light, lightweight, no makeup makeup look. I personally want medium coverage and I expect my foundation and I expect my makeup to last all day long. Now I get that I'm moving into more natural makeup and the pigmentation is gonna be different. I understand that, but still, I wanna be able to apply my makeup in the morning and have it carry me all day long. So I'm gonna show you how I do that with these products. Also, just so we get it out of the way, my face is really pale compared to the rest of my body, but it's freezing outside, so I'm obviously wearing a jumper. So when I apply the foundation, it's gonna look really dark, and that's okay. But I'm also gonna show you how to take a darker foundation and use concealer to help lighten some areas so you can transition your summer makeup into winter makeup and all that kind of stuff, because I tend to wear the same color foundation all year round, but sometimes I'm using a concealer to help lighten it up and sometimes I'm using more bronzers to darken it up, okay? Because it's just easier, okay? That's just like a little hack that I have, okay? So let's get some foundation on because I'm feeling a little you know, naked faced. We are gonna go in with the Ilia Skin Rewind Complexion Stick because I've been liking this foundation so much better. And the component itself, it feels heavy, it feels luxurious. Mine has like a massive dent in it. I don't know if they all have that or if it's just like mine. I thought that was funny. The first time I did both of these foundations, I used my beauty sponge, but this actually is so much better if you blend it out with a buffing brush. So I will show you how I do that. I want medium coverage and my body is darker than my face because I do tan and so because of that I probably need more foundation. I'm just going in with my Morphe M439 Kabuki brush and gently buffing this in all over the place. So then I'm gonna go in with the Ilia True Skin Concealer. I actually really like this. You definitely need to set this concealer, otherwise it will settle into your fine lines. Also, I don't have dark circles. I genuinely use concealer to highlight my under eye and to set my eyes up for eyeshadow. And today I will show you how I use it just to like highlight my face a little bit. Because this is a super lightweight concealer, I feel like I can highlight my face without putting a ton of added coverage. I really like it. I think it's really beautiful. You definitely need to set it and I have not found a setting powder that I love yet. So I am still currently using this little guy, this Maybelline Lasting Fix Powder. Okay, so then the next thing I got from Merit is this like cream bronzer. And I got mine in the shade Scene. I thought it was a really beautiful shade. Again, the component is so lightweight. It just, like it looks really beautiful and luxurious. It just feels really cheap, which I don't love that. But I feel like this color is a really beautiful bronzer color, but it is definitely a balm. <laughs> it definitely doesn't have a ton of pigment and the pigment goes away. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you put it on. It's like a really beautiful color, but you'll see when I blend it out that it's definitely more of a balm than like having pigment that's gonna last. And for your girl who wants, you know, I really want pigment that's gonna last. <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna take this Morphe brush, M581 Morphe brush, and I'm gonna blend it out with this because I've always done it with a beauty sponge. And so we're gonna see if this just blends it out but keeps the pigment a little bit better because that might be what it is. In the past, I used a beauty sponge and I felt like it just took all of the pigment away and it was such a drag. So maybe this will work better. Cause I really want to love it. It's a really pretty shade. Yeah, I just think this stuff needs brushes instead of the beauty sponge. Cause I think that that's really beautiful. That looks really nice. I'm going to set it with just an old Morphe bronzer. This is just gonna help it stay a little bit longer. And then like I said, I got the Merit Blush in Beverly Hills, which is 
my perfect shade. I absolutely love it. Again, it's definitely more of a balm than it is a highly pigmented cream blush, but I just get some on my little light brush. I don't like wiping it on my face. I feel like it just wipes everything else away. And it does build up nicely without getting cakey. It gives you a nice little glow from within. And you know what, we're just not even gonna set it. We're gonna see how it wears the rest of the day. All right, you guys, so that's all the clean makeup that I got from Sephora. I'm gonna finish this look and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. She's very pretty, right? And I feel like myself right? I think that that's the most important thing when you're doing makeup, that you like it and that it feels good for you and that you feel good in your skin, right? I will list all the products that I used in the description box down below so you guys can check them out if you guys want to. Also, I want to share a fun, healthy recipe with you guys because going through the holidays, it's so easy to get like thrown off track and what we used to eat during the summertime, you know, we're over it or it's not jiving with us anymore. Like spring, summer, I want smoothie, smoothie, smoothies. Give me all the smoothies and sunshine I can get. But then in the winter time, like right now it's cold, it's windy. I am in a full sweatsuit because I'm just so cold right now and I want soup. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you guys a really healthy, delicious soup recipe. So stay tuned if you guys want a really fun, healthy recipe. I just wanna share some like healthy habits and some thoughts. This last week, it was like the week before my period. It was a super crazy busy week because it was Halloween and I volunteered at Liv's class on Monday as usual and then for the carnival and we set up for the carnival. And so I just like had all of these extra things that I had to do. And it's really overwhelming to stay on track with counting my macros and doing my workouts. And so I just wanted to share with you guys like some of what happened last week and how I maintained my healthy lifestyle and how I actually let some parts of it go so that I could enjoy the time that I had and still know that I'm not giving up and that I'm still continuing my healthy lifestyle. Like I said, it was all day in the class on Monday, Wednesday we worked super late and then Thursday was all day in her class and then Friday Liv was home. And so it was just like a really busy week. And also my cortisol levels are sky high right now so I'm not sleeping so I got a little sick and so how I maintain my healthy lifestyle is I continue to walk every day because walking still feels good for me and my body so I'm still hitting my steps I continue to eat healthy so I continue to go grocery shopping and I'm not a big meal prep kind of a girl but I have made soup two or three times this week and then I had soup for lunch for leftovers which was so nice because it's been freezing cold well it's freezing cold for me I'm like a summer baby so just being able to eat eat like a nourishing bowl of soup. I've been cooking all of my soups with bone broth, which I love and it's so good for your gut. I actually don't have bone broth for today's soup, but you can definitely make today's soup with bone broth. Having some healthy food options around so that you have those options. Also on the day that I'm helping set up for the carnival late, I did a crock pot dinner. So I had a meal prepped meal ready and waiting to go. The biggest thing that I want you to remember and the biggest take takeaway from last week is like I didn't get all four of my weighted workouts in because my body just is not feeling it. Like I just physically can't because my arthritis and I'm just so tired and everything. But I didn't give up and I didn't shame myself or hate on myself or get down on myself. I just said, you know what? As soon as my body is starting to feel stronger, I'm going to start my workout again. I did two workouts last week and I'm so proud of that. I did yoga. I went walking and and so I chose movement that felt good for my body and I took care of my mental health, which is so important. And that's the whole idea of a healthy lifestyle. It's letting go of, if I don't do it perfect, then I'm not doing it at all. It's okay, well, maybe I can't do it perfect today, but tomorrow's gonna be better and I'll give it a try tomorrow, right? And honestly, sticking with really healthy foods, because I'm doing this 10 week workout challenge with Sarah Catterson coaching, I'm still weighing in every single morning and despite not working out and you know eating a couple higher calorie meals because I was like my body was just so tired and so hungry I went over my calories that day or I went over my macros or something one day and I still weighed in and my body has only fluctuated like a couple ounces I'm either 137.2 up to 138 and then I'm back to 137.4 like I'm still figuring out the balance of everything but having that account accountability has been really nice.
nice and it's Sunday so I'm gonna do my measurements and my check-in for that and again there's like no guilt no shame around the week being the way that it was because you're gonna have weeks where you're just tired or you're going to have weeks that are really busy or you're gonna have weeks where you get sick and you're like I just can't push through doing that heavy weighted workout when my body is this sick and this tired so know that if you go through those phases that's okay it's holding yourself accountable to continue doing something for yourself whether that's taking care of your mental health taking that time to take care of your recovery and getting the extra sleep that you need and then when you feel better having the accountability to hold yourself accountable to actually show up for yourself and do the workouts and eat the food right continue eating healthy foods even when you don't feel good especially when you don't feel good right and just remember that it's okay if not every week looks perfect because not every week is gonna look perfect it's about continuing your healthy lifestyle and if you need a video on how to build healthy habits or how to create your healthy habits I will link a video above and in the description box down below for you because I just filmed one and it's so good it's got my best tips on how to build a healthy habit that lasts and how I used habit stacking by James Clear to create my healthy lifestyle that I'm living right now so I will list that above and in the description box down below if you guys have not seen that go check that video out when you're done with this one and we're gonna go make some soup because this girl is feeling a little bit run down I'm a little sleepy my body's just really tired but tomorrow we start thrive the holidays and I'm so excited to support all the women who have signed up for that I'm so excited and if you guys need some extra support this holiday season and you guys missed out on thrive the holidays since we're already started at this point check the description box down below and get the support that I have for you I have the holiday survival guide that gives you my best tips on how to get you through the holiday parties and holiday season staying on track and staying true to you it's got recipes journal prompts all the good good so check the description box down below for that or comment holiday survival guide and I will send you the link to get some more information and let's go make some soup. Let's jump into making one of my absolute favorite go-to healthy recipes, a quick, easy chicken and vegetable soup that's perfect for meal prep. Not only is it packed with protein and veggies, but it's also super freezer friendly, making it ideal for your really busy days. We're gonna start with some basic ingredients here, just chicken breast and your favorite mix of vegetables and a little bit of seasoning. What I love about this soup is how customizable it is. You can use whatever veggies you have on hand, perfect for cleaning out your fridge. And to take it up a notch, you can use bone broth for added protein and the gut healing benefits. Not only does it make the soup richer and more satisfying, but it's also great for boosting immunity, supporting healthy digestion, especially as the weather cools down. Once the soup is ready, you can portion it out into individual servings. I like to use freezer safe bags. Here's a tip, lay them flat in the freezer to save space. When you're ready to eat, just pull it out, reheat, and you've got delicious, nutritious meal ready in just minutes. And there you guys have it, a quick, easy, healthy and satisfying chicken and vegetable vegetable soup that you can have ready whenever life gets busy. If you give this recipe a try, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear how it turns out. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that this was just kind of a chatty video today and some fun makeup and a recipe. The soup recipe will be linked in the description box down below. And if you guys need more healthy, high protein recipes to help get you through the holiday season and stay on track with your health and fitness goals, then you definitely wanna get the Empower Your Plate High Protein Recipe ebook. It is so good. It's got 30 plus high protein recipes. It's got so much information about the benefits, about eating enough protein, healthy fats, carbs, just all of the things. So if you guys want more information, click the link in the description box down below and get your hands on the Empower Your Plate High Protein Recipe book. It is so good and you guys are absolutely loving it. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your number one goal is for 2025 so that I can create content that's going to be really helpful for you and get you living your healthy lifestyle in 2025. Before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.